That type of reaction was a normal thing for Marlon Veal during his time in high school. Always finding a way to leave the crowd in awe. With no offers heading into his senior year, the Helen Cox product made it a point to get noticed, winning the Times Picayune Large Schools Player of the Year Award and Class 5A MVP. Veal had tough competition for the awards, playing in the same district as Orlando Magic forward Melvin Frazier. Andrew Lopez of NOLA.com had the chance to cover Veal in high school, and he could see then Veal was destined for something special. He, he did a lot of great things on that team, and he was, it was the same Helen Cox, it's the same school that produced Greg Monroe. Uh, and, you know, coach was like, this is the second best player I've ever coached in my life. When you're in that conversation with a guy like Greg Monroe, he was just very, very special. And, and you, you, you kind of saw it, like I said, not because of the stats, but because of how he actually played the game of basketball. Despite the accolades, recruitment for Veal remained slow, with the top knock being that he was just too small to play at the Division I level. But, you know, I was 4 or 5A player of the year. I was district MVP. City, um, you know, associated, associated press MVP. So, I mean, I, I felt like I had a name, but it just wasn't bro broadening out how I wanted it to be just because of my size. As signing day continued to inch closer and closer, one school decided to give the five foot nine guard the shot that he deserved. He, he didn't have a lot of offers, and there were other schools. I remember going to AAU tournaments, sitting with coaches from in state schools and saying, You need to offer this guy. And everybody was really kind of scared of his size and Southeastern just wasn't. Coming off of four straight losing seasons, first year head coach Jay Ladner knew there wasn't much to sell Marlon Veal on. So instead, he sold him on a vision, one that he truly believed would come to fruition. All we could sell at that time really was a vision. We had been struggling, the program had been struggling uh, when we had uh, arrived here. And Marlon uh, uh, took that, uh, kind of shared that vision with us, bought into kind of, I guess, agreed with what we were saying. We kept saying, Marlon, if you can go other places and be a member of a basketball team or you can come here and be remembered. It's almost like Ladner had a crystal ball, as he couldn't have been more spot on with his prediction for the undersized kid from Harvey. In his first three seasons with the Lions, Veal etched himself into Southeastern basketball history, breaking the all-time assist record and tallying 162 steals. Good for second all-time and just 13 behind Deshaun Patterson for first all-time. Now Veal is happy to be where he is today. However, he is somewhat surprised with his rapid ascent into the Lions history books. Most people who I talk to now, they always say, oh, man, you, you've been playing so well. I, I never, I mean, even people who were day one supporters of me have told me, man, I, I, I didn't even think you were going to, I didn't even know I was going to be, you know, as successful as I, I have been, you know, these four years. And I'm just glad that I'm blessed to be able to, you know, be in this position. Someone who's not surprised, Coach Ladner, who notes that Veal not only works hard on the court, but also off of it, consistently finding ways to get better. Not only does he live in the gym practicing his game, he lives in the film room. He's constantly with myself or with our assistant coaches reviewing his play, uh, maybe during the season, obviously studying the play of his opponents and getting that little bit of edge. That's what the great ones do. Veal's hard work has not gone unnoticed being named 2017-18 Southland Defensive Player of the Year en route to Southeastern's first Southland Conference Championship since 2005. A moment that Veal says he will cherish forever. That's probably one of the greatest moments and, you know, achievements of my life. Um, you know, winning a, a conference championship, not too many people get to do that, especially on the D1 level, you know. And then g coming from, you know, people telling me, oh, you're not going to be able, he's not going to be able to do this and do that. You know, proving people wrong is even more of, you know, a plus to winning that championship. As Veal prepares for his last season as a Southeastern Lion, he couldn't be happier with his choice to attend Southeastern, hoping that one day he can return to see his own jersey hanging in the rafters. For me to come back here 20 years from now and be able to see my name and my family be able to come here and see my name and I'm not too far from home, and you know, this, is, this will be like my second home, you know. Uh, I always, I never forget this place just because it, it has, you know, changed my life so much. And um, just seeing my, my jersey up there would be one of the best things in my life. So it's fair to say you made the right decision out of high school? Absolutely. For the big game, I'm Andrew Scherer.